Hey, welcome to my second art channel, Harptuniac's Advanced Art. So maybe you followed Harptoons for a long time or drawing with Steve Harpster, and now you've gotten to a level where possibly you are purchased a tablet, you're learning digital art, you're more advanced. This is the video for you. Today, we're gonna draw a made up creature called a Sharktopus. I'm gonna show you my process of how I create things, how I use the app Procreate, and show you how to make amazing art on your iPad. All these tips and tricks and more right here at Harptuniacs. Okay, artists, well, welcome to my second channel where I'm gonna teach you how to use your iPad and other computer devices to make better art. So uh, let's work on this drawing of a Sharktopus. Now this is more of a idea generating session than it is me teaching you how to draw. So hopefully it inspires you and shows you kind of my creative process. So let's begin. Okay, so first I need to figure out what a shark to puss looks like. That's hard to say, shark to puss. I have to figure out what that looks like. And the only way I'm gonna do that is just by putting ideas on paper or in this case, tablet. So I think there is this common thought out there that us artists just know exactly what we're creating. Like we just know it's in our head and we're just kind of drawing from an image inside our head. I know for me, that's not at all the case. Basically, I have to noodle out ideas. I got to doodle and just sort of see what the shapes and the lines can create. And so that's what I'm doing here. I am doing these little rough thumbnails and just kind of playing around and seeing which one has the best possibility. So this one this next one I really like because it kind of looks like a penguin. It's upright. Uh, it's little flippers are off to the side. Um, this one just it made me laugh to, to think if you saw this thing waddling around on the beach. Um, this little like kind of freak of nature. Uh, so I thought this one was pretty fun. Um, and then this next one that I do is more of a, well, here I am still working on it. I'm going to shrink it down now. And I'm going to work on my next version. And this one more is a terrifying sort of angry uh, shark character uh, with squid legs. So uh, it's funny, all of them had shark heads and squid tentacles, which makes sense, right? Because the most defining part of the squid would be the tentacles or the octopus, I mean. Um, and of course, the most defining part of the shark would be the fin and the mouth. So those are the two parts you're going to use when you create your character. So once I come up with my three ideas, or maybe I need four or five, you just never know. In this case, I only did three. Then I can pick the one I like the best. Okay, for this character, I've come up with three ideas. I have this one sort of side view, uh, which I do like. I think the nose probably needs to be a bit more shark-like. Whoops, I got the eraser on. Um, then I have this view right here. Uh, I kind of like this one a lot. It kind of looks like a, a, a penguin more than a shark. I think this one's kind of funny. And then this one here, definitely more ferocious. Hey, the humor side of me is going with this one, this one number two. And so I'm going to take that uh, image, this little rough, I'm going to blow it up and I'm going to work on that one and make it much better. Okay, so when I start to work on my what's going to eventually be my final image. What I am going to do is take that rough thumbnail, make it bigger, and then I'm going to draw over that. This is still another rough. So this is a rough pass over a rough. <laughs> so um, yeah, I might be taking more time with it and spending more time, of course, now it's at high speed, but uh, it is still my rough drawing. And that's why I'm doing it in the blue shade or the blue tone. So let's uh, see how this turns out. So here's my idea for my shark to puss. I really like it. Hey, I'd love to see your idea for a shark to puss. So if you want to share your idea, I have an Instagram account. Just hit hashtag Steve Harpster when you go to share. That way I can see it. Put it on Instagram. I'd love to see it. Hit the hashtag Steve Harpster. <laughs> I'd love to see what kind of weird creature you came up with for this. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw over top of the blue line or the rough, the second rough pass. 
and I'm inking over top of that. Now just remember when I'm inking, I am not tracing over top of those blue lines. It may look like I am, but actually those blue lines are just a reference. And I oftentimes will draw way, way off of those lines. So just keep that in mind. It is not tracing at this point. Quick Procreate tip right here. This is something I love to use. If you're, see how I'm zooming in and out to look at the picture. If you want to just look at the whole picture, watch this. You go to the wrench, you go to the canvas, you go to this here, it says reference. You turn that on. Woo, look at that. You come up with this little tiny picture window, which you can move anywhere on your screen and you can even resize it. But then when you're drawing, whoops, look at this. You can, oh, I thought this part was going to go away. Maybe it will. There it goes there. <laughs> that part does go away. Now I can go through here and as I'm drawing, let's say I decide to add a unicorn horn to this, I can look in the big screen and see that unicorn horn and say, oh, maybe that is kind of stupid or maybe I do like it. And uh, this is what's so cool. I don't have to keep zooming in and out. I can work real small. Of course, I don't like that unicorn horn, so I'm going to use the two fingers and just keep undoing. Of course, you have undo here on the side as well, but those are my Procreate tips. Well, thank goodness I can draw incredibly fast or else this video would be really boring. <laughs> okay, obviously this is sped up quite a bit uh, just to, to make the video shorter. Uh, once again, these videos are more intended for you to get your creative process going and to kind of show you ways to make drawing easier, not necessarily a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to draw. Um, using that reference window does make it very easy for me to see what the whole character looks like, especially when I'm zoomed in really small and working on little details. Plus, when you're working with a thin, thick brush, you want to make sure those, those thicker lines are on the bottom and the thinner lines are on the top, kind of adds gravity and weight to your drawing. The other thing I love about this uh, little thing is when I go to turn it off, I think this is pretty cool. Watch this. Uh, just close it with the X. Woo, I love that animation, how it just slides away. That's the little things that Procreate uh, does. It's just so cool. Uh, so my drawing is all finished here. I'm going to turn off the uh, the layer behind there. This was the layer I was using for the uh, for my rough drawing, and there we go. We've got a sharktopus. I'd love to see what you came up with. Like I said, if you want to share with me, hashtag Steve Harpster. See what kind of weird creature you created. Hey, in the comments below, if you want to tell me what I should draw next. What kind of weird creature combination I should try creating in my next video, uh, please do. So thank you so much for drawing with me. If this is your first time watching and you enjoyed this type of content, hit subscribe and like and all that good stuff so you know when the next video is coming out. And I will hope to have some more videos coming out real soon. So stay tuned. Thanks so much for checking out Harptooniac's Advanced Art. I'm going to have more videos coming out real soon. Check out these videos too. I think you're going to really enjoy them. And I'll see you in the next one.